It's the end of the world as we know it, and you're feeling less than fine. That's because some of the SCP Foundation's greatest fears have been realized, and we're in the middle of an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. But what exactly is an XK-class specifically? How does it fit in among the other K-class scenarios that the Foundation stays ever vigilant for? What are some of the ways the world can end as a result of anomalous activity? And if one of these events does unfold, what can be done to stop it? We'll grab your water filters and head down to the nearest Foundation-approved apocalypse bunker. Not that it'll save you. Because we're talking XK-class end-of-the-world scenarios. Sadly for us, there's actually a huge number of ways that the life and reality we consider normal can suddenly disappear. These are known to the Foundation as K-class scenarios, a description given to any event that will severely alter reality or normality on a global scale. There are too many of these to list right now, but the most prominent threats are SK, NK, CK, ZK, and, of course, XK scenarios. An SK scenario is when another species or civilization surpasses or replaces humanity, such as the threat that the Foundation believes SCP-1000 poses, while an NK or Grey Goose scenario posits that the world may be overrun by out-of-control self-replicating nanomachines, covering everything in Grey Goo. CK-class restructuring scenarios refer to a situation in which some kind of reality-warping anomaly irreparably alters or restructures reality as we know it. By contrast, a ZK-class end-of-reality scenario involves an anomaly in physics causing reality in general to just cease. But the most feared of all and the most abundant in its potential causes is the XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. This is quite literally the apocalypse. Armageddon, Judgment Day, End Times, Lights Out. There are well in excess of 60 anomalies capable of triggering an XK-class scenario, and sadly far fewer that can reverse them. T.S. Eliot wrote, This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. As anyone at the SCP Foundation could tell you, there are plenty more ways the world can end than that. Here are some of the most strange, terrifying, or downright interesting examples of anomalous apocalypses, starting with the more ridiculous end of the apocalyptic scale. SCP-871 is a series of over 200 cakes, varying in size and variety of cake. If any of these cakes are eaten, they'll be replaced by a magically appearing cake within 24 hours. However, if the cakes are not eaten, they'll still produce a replacement. If the cakes are damaged but not eaten, a replacement will appear instantaneously. In other words, if the replication is not properly inhibited by the SCP Foundation, there's a considerable risk of the world being overrun with impossible quantities of cake. It may sound silly, but Foundation scientists have estimated that an uncontrolled outbreak of SCP-871 would render the world completely uninhabitable in a mere 80 days. The Foundation tracks a number of frightening SCPs capable of quickly getting out of control, such as the 100% infectious and deadly prion SCP-008 and SCP-610, aka the flesh that hates. But none seem to present the same genuine threat to human life as an epidemic of global cake duplication. Another bizarre anomaly capable of causing an abrupt apocalypse is SCP-5092. This anomaly is a strange phenomenon that exclusively affects every sitting U.S. president. At 7.53 p.m. every single night, the president's nose will begin to itch. When this happens, naturally, the president will itch his nose. This may seem like an extremely innocent pattern of behavior, but the true danger occurs when the president affected by 5092 doesn't act on this sudden and irritating itch. If the president doesn't itch, it will cause SCP-5092-1 to spontaneously manifest. 5092-1 is a massive asteroid, over 20 kilometers in diameter that manifests above the North Pole and begins hurtling towards Earth at incredible speeds. If the President fails to scratch his nose by 8.53 p.m. every single night, this asteroid will collide with Earth and invariably cause an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. The Foundation is required to keep a constant watch on the current sitting U.S. President for this exact reason. SCP-2950 is in a similar situation. It's not necessarily always a potential XK-class waiting to happen, but under the right circumstances, it absolutely can be. According to the surface-level files, 
2950 is an anomalous folding metal chair. When sat on for over an hour, it becomes impossible to convince the sitter to leave the chair without using force. However, as a file only accessible by a single member of the O5 Council reveals, 2950 is actually an anomaly that takes the form of whatever the majority of people aware of it think it is. The misinformation about it actually being a chair has been spread this whole time just to reduce its potential threat. An ancient tome from the Sacred Library of the Serpent's Hand, though, depicts 2950 as an all-powerful and incredibly deadly XK-class scenario threat. If this book ever fell into the wrong hands and its information was shared, it would become a self-fulfilling prophecy and likely result in the exact kind of XK-class apocalypse we fear. SCP-2935, also known as O-Death, is a limestone cavern in Indiana leading to an alternate world that already experienced an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. A complete and total extinction event so powerful it even led to the deaths of thought-to-be immortal figures like SCP-682 and Dr. Bright. While the cavern is thankfully now sealed off, it's believed that the force of pure death lurking on the other side is more than capable of causing the same mass extinction event in our reality if it ever gained passage here. Another anomaly very likely to cause an XK-class end of the world scenario is a creature known as the Devourer of Worlds, which lives in a desert-like pocket dimension beyond SCP-2317. While the beast is currently bound, Foundation scientists anticipate it breaking from its bonds and moving into our dimension, at which point it is likely to live up to its name and eat all of us. Perhaps the most feared entity in all of SCP Foundation lore, the Scarlet King is an ultra-powerful godlike being created by the tension between organized modernity and the primal violence of the past. The Scarlet King makes repeated attempts to enter our reality, and his various devoted cults do what they can to help him make the jump. It's believed that if he ever did find his way into our dimension, the end of the world is an extremely likely outcome, given his seething hatred for all modern societies. Some anomalies don't seem to cause XK-class end-of-the-world events, but they are predicted to potentially cause them to happen sometime in the future. One such example is SCP-3769, a seemingly normal scientific calculator that binds itself to the body of whatever touches it. It then, depending on the number input into the calculator, regresses the biology of the user into some prior stage of evolution. But when the calculator was tested on SCP-411, a 400-year-old man who ages in reverse, it broke and began performing the exact opposite function to what was intended. It started evolving the subjects it touched into future stages of evolution. While this worked successfully on all animals tested, from octopi to macaws, it killed every human it was tested on even when the evolution feature was cranked down to its smallest setting of a single generation. Humans, it seems, are at the end of the road in terms of our evolutionary journey. Foundation scientists have posited that this could foretell an XK-class human extinction event within our lifetimes, though we don't know what form it will take. Another SCP that seems to function as a grim omen is SCP-152. This is a large hardcover book that features startlingly detailed descriptions of events in the past, present, and future. The one common denominator is that the small differences, often about the actions of the Foundation, lead to calamitous XK-class end-of-the-world scenarios in the book. The Foundation has found this incredibly pessimistic work of literature valuable as an instruction guide in avoiding the coming disasters that it predicts, but it's possible that it may somehow predict an incoming XK that we can't wriggle out of. Another grim harbinger of a potential dark future is SCP-1678, also known as Unlondon. This sprawling dystopian city beneath modern-day London suggests an XK-class extinction scenario above ground, caused by rampaging anomalies getting loose from Foundation containment. The museum in the doomed underground city displays a number of dangerous Kettier-class anomalies wreaking havoc on the surface world. For all we know, these horrifying events may someday come to pass for us. At this point, it's understandable if you're feeling a little paranoid. With all these possible XK-class scenarios looming over us, from being smothered by Kig to doom foretold by a calculator, it's easy to let a sense of hopeless roll over you. And these aren't even all of the anomalies capable of doing this. But never fear, there are three anomalies out there that have the capability to reverse even some of the most dire XK situations. The one hope is that they can be reached in time. 
One of the more practical methods is activating SCP-2000. This anomaly is a huge facility hidden beneath Yellowstone National Park. Through a number of anomalous technologies, 2000 is capable of making exact copies of everyone who existed on Earth in the last 20 years. The facility also stores all human knowledge, allowing things to pick up right after they left off. This new race of humans is then able to rebuild society from the ground up, at which point the Foundation will re-emerge and erase everyone's memories of the XK-class end-of-the-world scenario that started it all. SCP-2000 isn't effective in all situations, though. What if, for example, the XK scenario destroyed the conditions for supporting human life on Earth? Or what if SCP-2000 itself is destroyed during the process of the XK-class scenario? Thankfully, when it seems like all of their hopes have failed, there are two remaining anomalies that can function as a sort of total reset button if brought together, no matter the severity of the apocalypse. These are SCP-055, the unknowable anti-meme, and SCP-579, another mysterious anomaly known only by its extensive containment procedures. The combination of the anomalous effects of 055 and 579 as laid out in Rajet's proposal and the article for SCP-2998 is the Foundation's ultimate secret weapon for preventing an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. If the two are united during said scenario, the universe resets to a time before the XK-class started and prevents it from happening. That's why if the world is ending around you, there's no better hope of canceling the apocalypse than bringing 055 and 579 together. So there you have it. Everything you need to know to have a basic knowledge about the end of all life on Earth. Preventing an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario is like playing an extremely high-stakes game of whack-a-mole. You never really know when the next existential threat is going to pop up. And perhaps the one that finally ends it all is closer than you think. Now go check out SCP Chaos Insurgency Explained and SCP 4511 Swine God for more frightening Foundation facts.